welcome to this week's weekly vlog. Today is Tuesday. It is Halloween today. Although we're not doing anything for Halloween today because we did Halloween stuff on Sunday. We had our Halloween party. And this evening I am heading to, well I say this evening, in about an hour, I am heading to Sheffield for a press night. I'm going to see Treason. It's a new British musical based on the gunpowder plot. So I'm so excited. I've heard really good things about it. I've seen some of the production shots and the costumes look really good. So I'm just really excited to go and see it. Fortunately, I'm having to go on my own. Brother couldn't come with me today. And I'm, I'm about to say I'm feeling a bit anxious about it. Um, because I'm getting a later train and it's rush hour. So it's going to be packed and I'm not good with crowds. So yeah, I am feeling a little bit anxious. So I'm sure I'll be fine once I get there. Um, also, coming back, my train, I'll be cutting it fine. As long as the show finishes on time, I'll be fine getting the train. If it overruns, it's going to be a rush. So I'm hoping the show runs smoothly and it finishes on time. Otherwise, if it does overrun, I might have to just leave early. I need at least 15 minutes to get to the train. Um, and if it finishes on time, I should have 20 minutes, so I should be fine. So if it runs five minutes over, that should be okay any more than that then I'm gonna to have to leave early so fingers crossed it all runs on time but yeah I'm really excited to see the show just a bit nervous about getting there um but anyway it is about half two now I'm gonna pick up the kids from school at three o'clock then my parents are gonna come pick them up at half three and then I'm gonna head out so I'll probably get back to you now once I'm heading to the tram station <laughs> I'm just at the tram station now, there's five minutes till my tram. Not too long to wait, but it's only a small one. It's the Piccadilly, so I need to move up. Hopefully there'll be a seat. Yeah, so I'm at the tram station now. I'm running a little bit late because my parents were late picking up the kids. They're always late. Um, but I should still have time. I've still got an hour to get there, so it should only take half an hour. So I should be fine. I've just arrived at Piccadilly train station about half an hour till my train so I'm just gonna pop in Sainsbury's see if I can get anything to eat because I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time for food when I get there I'm just gonna buy a snack just in case okay so my train isn't due for another 20 minutes so yeah I'm gonna wait and then as soon as it arrives I'm gonna go onto the platform Okay, so my train's the next train from this platform and this train is usually super, super busy, so... Just 
outside in Sheffield, this is my train I just got off and now I'm gonna, I think I might have time to get something to eat but I'm not actually hungry now so I've got ages yet till I need to head to the theatre so maybe I'll just go and get something light, we'll see, anyway Okay, so I'm just outside the train station now. It's very wet, it must have been raining, but luckily I've just missed the rain. So, yeah, I'm gonna walk up to where the theatres are and then maybe see what food places are around there. Okay, so I've just arrived at the theatres. There's the Crucible, there's the Lyceum. I've got half an hour till the theatre open, so I might go and look and see if there's anywhere I can get some food, but I'm not that hungry. Maybe I'm by the McDonald's or something. I would do. So I'm not going to the Weatherspoons here like I usually go to, so I just haven't got time, but there is a McDonald's up here, so I might just get some fries uh, and a drink. Because I'm not that hungry. But I know by the time I get home at midnight, I'm going to be starving, so I'm just going to get something. Okay, so I'm just ordered, just waiting for McDonald's. Okay, so it's now 6.35, I'm just in McDonald's, just got something quick to eat. And the show starts at quarter past seven, so I'm gonna aim to get to the theatre for seven. So then I've got enough time to like show you around and show the merch and stuff. So I'm gonna quickly eat this and head back to the theatre. So I just finished in McDonald's now, it's now 10 to seven, so I'm just gonna walk up. Okay, so I've now arrived at the theatre, it's 20 to 7. Should start in 20 minutes. I need to go in, get a programme, look at the merch, and then head to my seat. So, yeah, really looking forward to this. Okay, so I've just picked my programme up from the press desk, and now I'm just in the queue for the merch, because I want to buy a magnet. Okay, so I'm in the stores, going from door one. So cute. C26. So just here. Okay, so I'm in my seat now, I'm on row Q, seat 26. I've got two seats, 25 and 26, because my brother can't come. I think I'm going to sit in 26. But yeah, the view is good. I'll just show you the view from my seat. Okay, so this is the view from my seat. You can see it's a really good view. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It starts to start in about five minutes, I think. Show's really good, really enjoying it. The songs are great, the costumes are really good, and we're loving the set. So, really looking forward to the second half. So, I'll tell you, I'll just give you a full review now when I get home. Okay, so I just managed to collect a quick little drink and I'm heading back to my seat. I have to say, I do love their safety curtain, 
Okay, so the show has finished. It's finished a quarter of an hour later than it's supposed to. Maybe a bit more actually, maybe 20 minutes later. But the train got cancelled. So I was able to stay till the end. But now I've got to see how I'm going to get home. Hopefully I'll be able to catch the bus home. We shall see. I need to get to the train station now. And see if my ticket is valid on the next train because it's a different train company. So oh, the curse of coming here every time I come. Something that always happens getting home. Anyway, I'll get back to you now once I'm at the train station. station I made it with 10 minutes to spare before the last bus so at least I've made it. I don't have to get taxi, I hate getting taxi on my own. So yeah. It should be due in like nine minutes now. Hi so I am now home much later than I expected. I should have got home if my train hadn't been cancelled. I should have got home around half 11, quarter to 12. And I ended up getting home for 1am. So a lot later. But at least I managed to catch my bus. Which was good. Because I did not want to have to get a taxi. Um, but hopefully I can claim my money back for that train. Um, since it didn't turn up. Which isn't too bad. And it meant that I actually got to stay and watch to the end of the show because if I was getting the other one I would have had to have left about 15-20 minutes early because it overran. Um, so yeah it probably worked out for the best in the end. Uh, but anyway I am going to quickly get something to eat because I'm quite hungry and then I'm going to head to bed. I'm going to review the show in the morning because it's too late now. So yeah I will get back to you tomorrow. Hi, today is Thursday, I think. Yeah, Thursday. And Lawrence and I are just heading into town because we're going to go to the cinema today to see a film. I can't remember what it's called. What's the film called? Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's. We're going to see that while the kids are at school. And then I think Lawrence is going to go and pick them up. I'm going to stay in town and look around Primark and the shops and stuff. That is the plan for today. So we're just getting our... I'm just getting our tram tickets and yeah, tram is due in two minutes. Let's go here. We've arrived at the trip, it's now it's very loud. A lot of building work going on here that was going on, but yeah, we've arrived at view. We've already got our tickets, so we can go straight in. Yeah. Right, what screen are we in? Uh, what screen? 20. 20? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so we're in screen 20, which is at the top, I think. Pardon? There you go, this is the film that we're going to go in to see. I know nothing about it, but Lawrence knows about it. Did yeah. you say it's from the game? It's a game, it's created by Scott Colvin. I think it's a game that has been, I can't remember the year. It's a load of games, a load of lore that I will know the reference and I'll get all the reference that I'll put you in afterwards. Uh, I'll make it too. But I've seen the trailer and it looks, it looks interesting, so. <laughs> and I've convinced Lawrence to let me get popcorn, this very rarely happens, so <laughs> he doesn't like spending money. <laughs> okay, so we got a popcorn drink combo, so I'm gonna choose our drinks. I want a low calorie drink. I might go, would you want Sprite or Diet Coke? I don't know. Or Fanta? I don't know. Uh, I think I'll go with Sprite for a change. So you can add grape, orange, vanilla, strawberry, peach, raspberry. But then I might not like it. So I'm just going to stick with the normal. Okay. Uh, Okay, so we're in screen 20. I think there are like only four people in this screen. What's the fuck? What road are we on? So we finished at the cinema, we've come to get some lunch with all of Lawrence is going to head back and get the kids and I'm going to look around for Lawrence went to McDonald's. What Philly, did you get? Philly cheese, but I'm trying this new burger, remember the time. Yeah, you want to try that, I obviously just got my regular. I'm not a massive fan of McDonald's, so yeah, we're going to eat this and then head, head off. Did you enjoy the film? I did. Yeah, I thought it was alright. I did, I have to go to the back, toilet. Sometimes. During it. I missed a massive amount because the toilets were so far away. So I think I've missed like the main bit of the film. <laughs> no, you're there for the big reveal. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this and get back to you later. So I'm gonna have a quick look in Minnesota while I'm here because you should have some cute Christmas things.
what Alice might like, but it doesn't have cat rat on it. So she wouldn't want it without cat rat. So I've got a Gabby doll pass for her. Oh, I've just found a charm and a cushion. Alice would absolutely love this. It's nine pounds. She'd love that. Leo would love that one. Leo would like this fro as well. How much is that? 14 pounds. But Alice definitely love that. We've got a squirtle one. Sonic. Here's a cute little Pikachu pen part. The upper will actually quite like that, but it's got nowhere to put it. Oh, look at these. I'm really tempted to get this for Alice because she loves Charmander. Six pounds. A little pencil case, put the pencils in. Do you want to do the schoolwork? And then, I don't know where to get Leo a Pikachu or a ball buzzer. I'm really tempted to get them. So we got some little Sonic pens in. I'm tempted to get that for the stocking fillers. Only two pounds. So Primark seems to have a new Fujitsu photo bag for Fujitsu section. Yeah. I'm not going to have a lot because people stood around. But... I say non-branded, it's got Barbie, but these are mostly non-branded Christmas bits of Primark's own stuff here. Yeah. They're saying that there's a Disney one. A Grinch stuff in. We've got a Grinch advent calendar. This is all Grinch pet stuff. And then these are all the Grinch Christmas decorations. So yeah, lots of Grinch stuff and lots of Grinch gift sets as well. It's got loads of Grinch pajamas. <laughs> Lots of Grinch stuff. Socks. Grinch onesies. Loads of Grinch stuff. Oh, this Pokemon. It is new. Alice would actually probably like this because it's got charm under on it. It's eleven pounds. Oh, and it's got Pikachu and charm on the back. <laughs> Might have to get that for Alice. Leo probably want it as well. And they've got the matching jogging bottoms. They're nine. Mm. Show Lawrence and see what he says. We've also got this Mario top. Alice really wanted one. I bought Leo one the other day. I didn't get Alice one. But now they don't have her size and in the Mario Luigi one. She wanted that one. Maybe she'll have that instead. I'll have to show her. I wonder if Alice would like this. This is in the girls section. Mm, take a picture and show her. If she loves Sonic and she loves Tails. She might like that. Nothing on the back. Eight pounds. But Alice would have really liked this, but this is in the older girls section. I think the youngest is seven. Uh, they did six to seven. But that would be too big on her, I think. Yeah, she would have liked that though. Again, they only do these in older girl size, and she would have loved these. Like, she doesn't like anything with Stitch on, just Angel. They only do it in the older girls. So annoying. Hi, 
so it is now much later been back for the shops for a very long time everyone else is actually in bed but i thought i'd just quickly show you a couple of things that i bought i just bought a couple of things from minnesota so i'll just show you what i got okay so from minnesota i just picked up a couple of aerial pens because you can never have enough pens and they were £2.50 each so I picked those up I think they're both black ink I didn't check uh, let's have a look oh they always have this like thingy on them so it's a plastic on the tip that you have to take off both black ink and then I also bought these two um, mystery boxes these are called fairy town and there are nine to collect in these I just thought these were really really cute they are expensive they're 15 pounds each which is why I only got two um, and I have filmed an unboxing video for these if you want to see which ones I got then um, that should be on the channel soon um, but yeah, but now I've got two of them and they're even cuter in person than I want all the rest but I can't risk getting double so I might as well look on eBay see if anyone's selling them but yeah, I thought they were really really cute um, so they had a few new mystery boxes in but these were the best ones I thought so I picked these up and that is everything I bought from the shops so I am just going to finish up doing a bit of bed on the computer and then I am going to head to bed so I will get back to you now tomorrow Hi, today is Friday, it's 12 o'clock and I've just made a really last minute decision to go to the Lowry to see the matinee of 222 Ghost Story. Now I wasn't going to go and see this, one because the tickets are very expensive and two I have my name down to go and review it in Sheffield in January. However, after all the hassle with trains going to Sheffield recently and being January it's going to be really dark and cold and horrible weather around January I thought is it worth the hassle of going all the way to Sheffield to review it when it's on at the Lowry I can go comfortably I can go to a nice matinee be back in time um so what do you know what I'm just gonna go to the matinee now it is expensive I wouldn't usually spend this much on a ticket especially the only ticket I could afford was in the upper tier so I'm sat in the upper tier today so if you've never seen the upper tier in the Lowry today you'll see the view from there it's actually a really good view from there um I used to always sit there when I was younger because you could get um really cheap tickets not the, not the not chance today I used to pay about 15 pounds for a ticket up there today it's 30 pounds so yeah it's expensive so I think the ones in the stalls are about 40 50 pounds no way I was paying that so this is the cheapest I could get because I really wanted to see this show it had really good reviews and I'm not going to get to see it if I'm not going to go and review it in Sheffield so this is my only opportunity so I thought Do you know what I'm just going to go so I'm going to get ready and head out the show starts at two it's 12 o'clock now so I'm going to head out probably get something to eat while I'm there and yeah I'm going to head out now and I'll get back to you once I am at the Lowry Okay, so I've just arrived at the tram station. I'm gonna get my tram, so I only need zone two for going to the Lowry. Day travel. One adult, so it's only £1.90, so that's not bad. It's raining but it's not too heavy now, it's quite heavy before. I've just arrived at Lowry. The weather is awful. It's one o'clock. I haven't had lunch yet. So, 
I wonder if I've got time to get Nando's. I've got like 45 minutes. I'm gonna ask how long the wait is and see. Otherwise, I'll have to find a snack from somewhere. Oh. Okay, so I've just come to Nando's for some food. It says it's about a 20 minute wait and it's one o'clock, so it should be enough time to eat before I have to go for the show. So, yeah, I've gone for a chicken burger because I had a um, reward so I can get a free chicken burger and I've just got some perry chips to go with it and a drink. So my food has arrived, I've just got a burger and some chips and it is 26 minutes past so 50 minutes to eat it and then I'll head over to the theatre. Okay so I've finished my meal now and I'm just heading over to the theatre. It's about quarter to two so I've not got long until the show starts and I want to go and get the programme and see if I've got any magnets. Um, so yeah I'm going to head in now and I'll get back to you once I'm inside. Okay, so I've just picked up a program. These were six pounds. We'd run out of magnets. Just my luck. She did say they might get some at the end of the show. So there's a so, so I'll just check back at the end just in case we've got some. So I'll do that. But I am actually on the upper tier today for a change. So I just need to see what door I need to go in. Okay, so I'm door end today, which I think is this way. So head around here. Let's see if I can find the door again. Okay, so I need to go to door N, which is these stairs. So yeah, it's been a long time since I've sat up here. Let's find door N. What is this? This door. Okay. We've never sat this far up before, actually. So, row C. Okay, so I am row C. This row. Seat 14, I think. This is the view from my seat. It's quite a good view, actually. Nice, clear view.
high so it's now the interval and it's all right i found it a bit slow so i am enjoying it but i think it is a bit slow pace i think maybe because i'm used to musicals um yeah just finding it a little bit slow but i am enjoying it and maybe the second half will um pick up a bit of pace but yeah it's not too bad and i'm not finding it spooky either um but yeah we'll see what the second half is like Okay, so the show has finished now. The second half was actually really good. It definitely picked up pace. The ending was very good. Can't tell the ending though, but it was very good. So yeah, I actually really enjoyed it. The second half was, was much better. Definitely picked up pace. But anyway, I'm gonna head home now. I'll give you a full review when I get home. Hi, so it's much later now. Everyone else is in bed, but I just thought I'd quickly come on and say that I really enjoyed 222 Ghost Story. Um, I think I said I found the first half a little slow, um, but the second half really picked up pace and it was really interesting. And there is a big twist at the end, which they asked not, people not to tell, so I'm not going to say anything. Um, and I didn't actually see it coming. Usually I see these things coming. And I didn't see it coming, I'm kicking myself that I didn't see it. Because now that I know, I look back and I can see um, where there was hints to it. Um, I was I was quite tired, so I think if I was been fully awake, I probably would have got it. But yeah, it was a really interesting play. I think it's one that I'd like to go and possibly see again to see if I pick up on all the little hints to the end. Um, but I think it's not a play you'd probably see more than twice because once you know the story, yeah, I just don't think I'd see it m more than twice. I think I'd see it um, once and you get the big um, twist and I'd like to go back and see it again and then see if you pick up all the little clues to the twist. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was good. But I'm glad I decided last minute to go and see it. So tomorrow Lawrence and I are actually going to the theatre again we're going to the Hope Mill Theatre to see Tu Wong Fu uh, so that's going to be a fun day tomorrow Lawrence is actually working during the day uh, he's at work until I think he's working till 2 uh, so when he gets home we'll get ready and we'll go out so yeah, I'm looking forward to that tomorrow um, it's during the day I'm just going to probably be doing some homework with the children they've got homework to do and just playing with the kids for a little bit might do a little bit of editing so up until me and Lawrence go out probably not I'm probably not going to film anything uh, and then Sunday is bonfire night so we are planning on having my parents round and we've got some fireworks set up in the garden so that should be really good I think uh, during the day while Lawrence is is Lawrence off no he is at work on Sunday I think no he's not he is off but he's going to go and see um I should be so lucky he's going to the matinee of that um, and I'm going next week because we have to go separately because my parents can watch the kids. So yeah, he's going to that. Well, he's at that. Me and the kids are going to make chocolate apples because it's something we like to do for bonfire night. So that's what we've got planned for the rest of the week. So I'll probably get back to you now tomorrow when we're heading out to the Hope Mill Theatre. Hi, so it's just, actually, have I spoke to you today? I can't remember. Anyway, if I haven't, today is Saturday.
today and Lawrence and I are just getting ready to go out. We're going to Hope Mill Theatre to see Chu Wong Fu. I have some pen. Yeah, in a minute. So Alice and Leah are going to their grandparents for the evening. So yeah, we're just getting ready now. Parents should be here in about five to ten minutes. So I'll get back to you now once we're on the way to the theatre. So we're just at the tram stop now waiting for our tram. The one to Piccadilly is not for another ten minutes. So I think we're going to get one to Market Street. And then walk to Piccadilly Gardens and get a tram from there. Just so it's a bit quicker. Yeah, just doing two minutes. Second tram stop, so we got off at Market Street and then what's what's Piccadilly Still Gardens. Same one, so. and it's got five five minutes. arrived at the tram station in New Islington so now just walking up to the fit we're going to be really early I think it's what half six doesn't half so half seven so we've got some time Lawrence is going to let me buy a cake <laughs> <I'll say that. laughs> so we've just arrived at Hope Mill Theatre it's very wet and rainy but we're going to take some pictures in the car because it's undercover so it won't be wet so we can take some pictures because there's no one else around so that's what we're gonna do It's not not out with the with the merch, so I'm gonna ask if they've got any, and um, yeah, I'll get back to you later. Okay, so Lawrence and I just got a blondie each. I got a coke. Lawrence got a ginger beer, and they did have some magnets. So I got a magnet and a program.
Okay, so it's now the interval. What do you think of it, Lauren? I'm enjoying it. Yeah, it's really good. It's funny, isn't it? I've got to look up this film. The reference Yeah, to it. I'd quite like to watch the film, actually. Maybe see if we can find it and watch it. I think I looked at it, you can, you can um, buy it on Amazon Prime. I might have to, might have to do that, but yeah, it's really I'm interesting. I'm trying to think if I've seen it or not. I don't, I don't think, think I've seen it or not. Yeah, really enjoying it. We'll give you a full review when we get also, this is a view from our seats, so don't think I showed you it before it started. So we're on row I, seat, I'm on seat 5, and this is a view, so it's quite a good view. I did make Lauren swap seats for me because originally there was someone really tall side in front of me and I literally couldn't see anything. So luckily Lauren stopped me, and there's no one side in front of me, so I've got a really nice clear view. But it's going to start in a minute, so I'll get back to you now at the end of the show. combined with the cost of living crisis and the lack of funding available, the Hope Mill needs urgent support to be able to continue to produce ambitious theatre like Two on Film. So, they have set up a fundraiser called Hope for the Future with the aim to raise enough money to secure the year ahead. Without that, the future looks very different. Our show is all about the innate goodness of humanity and how with love and community, wonderful things can happen. And this theatre deserves to be a wonderful thing. So, we know times are hard, but if you are able to and would like to make a donation, you can do so via the website or via the contactless donation point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Size really matters. <laughs> A donation of thank you. A donation of any size, anything you can give. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting our show. And thank you for visiting this beautiful theatre. And long may that continue. Now. Yes. 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 <laughs> Let's dance.
so the show has finished now it was so good really enjoyed it well, I'm the on last song that was probably the last song was really really good i'm on my phone so it's really fuzzy because i'm not getting my camera out in the rain i should have filmed it in there but we'll give you a full review when we get back there you go i've got back, better lighting now so the show's finished uh, it was really good really really enjoyed it we're saying i think the, the number at the end is probably our favorite number from the show yeah it's my favorite song from the show yeah the last song because the open song is good um it's catchy as well i filmed mm. Yeah, but we really enjoyed it. It was really funny. What's also it was just a really fun show, so I definitely recommend it. But yeah, we'll, I'll give you a full review when I get home. Lawrence might not, but I will. Well, we'll see. We'll Depends see. when you do it. now back from the show well we've actually been back for a while now when we got back we had to get the kids to sleep um so lawrence is in bed now and um, so yeah it was a really good show really funny really enjoyed it definitely recommend it if you can get to the hope mill theater i think it's on until the 14th of december um but we really really enjoyed it i'd definitely go and see that again i thought it was really really good um but anyway i'm gonna head to bed now and i'll get back to you tomorrow Hi, today is Sunday, it's bonfire night tonight. So we are about to make some chocolate apples and some chocolate sticks, we call them sparklers. Just um, some uh, bread sticks with chocolate and sprinkles on. So we're gonna make those ready for tonight. It is half three now, I think. It's oh, no, actually, nice. It's half four. People are coming around at about six o'clock. It's night time. So hopefully they'll set in time. It's night time. Yeah, so we're gonna make our chocolate apples now and I thought we'd show you what we're doing okay so we've got everything set up to make our chocolate sticks and chocolate apples so each kit child has got four apples got four lolly sticks and they've got two bars of chocolate and then they've got a selection of sprinkles and then we've got all our sticks here ready to do so we're going to start I'm going to melt the chocolate for them uh, in the microwave and then they can dip the apples in the chocolate it's what i need now if you want to get the best of me got you smiling that's for sure funny how you had the best of done Okay, so we've finished our chocolate apples now. These are Leo's white chocolate ones. <laughs> Over here we've got Alice's milk chocolate ones. I'm just going to put them in the fridge now so they'll set.
it is now much later everyone else is in bed we had a really nice time really enjoyed the fireworks and we had a nice little like picky dinner sort of party food which we all enjoyed so it was a nice it was a nice evening um the kids seem to enjoy the fireworks a lot more this year i think because they're older and yeah it was just a nice evening a nice way to end the week so yeah we've had quite a good week this week i've done quite a lot of going to quite a lot of theater this week um uh, tuesday i went to sheffield to see treason and then on friday i went to see 222 and then saturday I went to see two on Fu. and then today lawrence went to see um i should be so lucky musical um and he had a really good time and yeah what else did we do this week um went to the me and lawrence went to the cinema this week as well um i went around primark and today me and the kids made the chocolate apple so i think we've had a really good week this week i don't know if it's a good vlog because a lot of it was being in a theater but we've enjoyed our week this week it's been good it's been good fun um next week um i'm gonna go and see uh i should be so lucky musical on the tuesday um and that's the only thing we've got planned for next week but i've got a lot of editing to do next week and i really need to make a start on stuff for alice's birthday as well so that's probably what i'll be doing next next week so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this week's weekly vlog if you have please do give it a like don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you again next week. Bye.